Hey guys, this is Poet Spice, and I am here to do this month's collab for Embellies on the 11th with Deb Houck. So in the description box below, you will see the other people that are participating. So definitely go over there and check it out. Um, don't forget to check out Deb's channel. And we'll get right to it. It's not going to be a very long video. So, you It's been a week, let me tell you. And it's only Tuesday. <laughs> no, it's Wednesday. And it's already been a week. All right, so I got this Anna Griffin die. It was the bookmark dies. And so you can see what they look like here. And then here are the actual dies. So I wanted to try this die. I wanted to see what this looked like cut out. So I said, well, I'm assuming a bookmark is an embellishment. It'd be like a page embellishment. So I just used some scrap paper that I had in my, you know, stash. And I only cut four. And then um, I did use a couple pieces of some old KS craft stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you that. Let me see if I can get a piece of paper so you can uh, see what it would look like on a corner. Oh my gosh, excuse me. Here we go again. Okay, so let's, let's get this party started right. Okay, so here's some more scrap paper. We're just going to this off make it easier <laughs> all right so here we go so i made these four so here's the first one so you've got i put the little bird on that's the k of um k and company little bird and i don't know where this paper was from so like i said it's from my stash but you can see the pretty decoration right can you see the frillies now i didn't use sing i use single-sided paper because i wanted to see what was looking like but i actually like this white against this it makes it kind of pop so when you put it on your corner it would go like dot and keep your page now of course you'd want them as flat as you can get them possibly um but you know hey Here's one where I did not do that. This is, I did take one layer of the foam off, but I just wanted this little flower. I think it looks so cute, right? This one is a double-sided paper, but you can see the back and then in the front. And then so when you put it on your book, it will look like that. Look at it. How cute is that? That's so cute, cute, cute. And it isn't really overly bulky. So there's that. Then... I just did one plain with this paper, and so it's single-sided, but you can see how that goes. There you go. So that's really cute. And then if you want it, like, I would want the decorative side on the page I'm doing, so you could just turn it around if you wanted to. So you could do it either way, whichever way you want. Um, you could also use these as little pockets. So if you did it this way, you could put a little pocket down there like that, or you could turn it this way like a tussy mussy, and then you could put stuff in it this way. And then you could do it again. You could use it and make it look like a little fan. Um, so yeah, so there's that one. It's just plain. And then the last one is this. It's a single-sided paper, but then I decided to put this little KF, uh, K and Company. I keep wanting to say KS Crafts. K and Company thing here. And I probably will cut this off, but I don't know. I kind of like the little piece there, but I don't know. Let's just do this one. Let me take that one off. But probably leave a leaf there. So it's cute. And of course it's blue. So there we go. And then that's what it will look like. And then you'd even have a little piece, well, if I put it in frame for you, then you'd have even a little piece sticking out of your book, like, boop, boop. So those are what I have created today, just these four bookmarks, because I wanted to try out that die. All right, thanks for watching, and go check out the other ladies. See you later, bye!